Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy banging zombies on the head with a sledgehammer. <laughs> I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, this is the Snowbound Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we plan a map that's made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. So, uh, last night, I did another buried treasure quest. Kind of rode around up in uh, the mountains here, because that's where the buried treasure took me. And um, then I started to, um, then I decided I would go and, and pick up all of my items in the drop chests that I've left, you know, all over this town. And then, of course, we have some up north that we'll have to get later. And uh, so I was coming back home, um, and I this is a cracker book store, and I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and just stop here. It's a small cracker book store, so it's not going to take a long time, but let's just stop here and, and go ahead and loot this place and see... You know, if we can get some of the more, uh, some of the, some more of the schematics that we need. So I had to make another drop chest <laughs> to put stuff in, um, because uh, I, it, you know, I had completely filled up my inventory with everything else. So the bike is completely full from the other drop chest that we have done, and um, then I, then I put some stuff in here. So let's go ahead and let's pop that in there. I found some hobo stew too, somewhere. Oh, I found that in the in the in the trader's. Uh, buried treasure quest but we'll put a couple things in here that we don't need to take uh, with us into the store and uh, just like we did the last time uh, this is just going to be a really quick uh, time lapse uh, uh, loot session I'm not going to you're not going to record it in normal time so we can get through it quickly and then we'll do the next thing that we're going to do in this episode which I'm not even sure exactly what that is but we'll figure it out all right hope you guys enjoy uh, the time lapse here All right, guys, that concludes our looting of the bookstore. We didn't find a gas can schematic, but we found two really major big prizes. We found uh, the SMG schematic. So I'm going to wait on that, though. I'm not going to make it right now uh, because of the fact that if we make it right now, it's just going to be an orange one. Uh, but we'll put some more points in the handgunner at some point and uh, make you know make a nice one of those. So that's, that's a nice find. Uh, we also found the motorcycle handlebars. So now we can actually make a motorcycle. So I'm going to be working on uh, getting that done. The thing, we're going to need 7 steel plus 37 steel. So basically we're going to need 54 steel in total. We have some in our drop chest, but remember I, I, I can make a crucible now too. So we're going to start working uh, towards getting a motorcycle. We might as well go right to it because it's faster than the mini bike and it has more storage space. Um, so yeah, that, those were probably the two biggest uh, things we found in there. So not bad, not bad at all. All right, now I'm going to um, let's go ahead and pull stuff out of here, and I'm going to go back to the trader and uh, you know turn turn this stuff in 
you know none of this stuff we need right at the moment but i probably will come back for it though but i'll, I'll just do that off camera and um so yeah i'm gonna go turn into the trader and then after that oh boy you know after that i might actually go ahead and 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 work on getting the motorcycle made i mean we might as well it's kind of too bad we didn't find that before we even made the mini bike but that's all right um yeah you know what i think i'll do that guys i'm gonna work on getting the motorcycle made i'll probably just do all of that off camera um however that does mean i'm gonna have to go uh i have two pretty significant no i have three really significant drop chests in the central city so i don't know maybe what we could do is do take you know take a road trip up there uh nah I, no i don't think so <laughs> you guys i don't think we'll do that because we're going to be spending a lot of time in this central city so yeah i think what i'll do is uh i'm going to cut the camera and i'm going to start working on getting a motorcycle and i probably won't bring you back until we have it unless something major occurs that you know that blocks us from being able to make it okay so i'll see you guys back here with a harley all right cool all right guys we're back and I believe we have everything we need to make our a motorcycle. Tell you what, man, it took damn near as long to find a battery as it did to get everything else together. Uh, I don't know. I must have wrenched at least 20 cars before I finally got a battery. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go back up to the trader and get this motorcycle made. Almost too bad. <laughs> It's almost too bad we didn't make the mini bike uh, that we made the mini bike because we're not hardly going to use it at all, but that's okay. The you know having even having the mini bike for this short period of time has made a huge difference in you know in everything I needed to do. So I did actually find a crap batter too. I don't I don't think uh, and I found this right before I, I got this. I don't think the quality of the battery actually matters, but. I don't know if it does let me know, but I don't, I'm pretty sure that it doesn't. Uh, it, the only time it matters is, uh, you know, when you use it in an actual battery bank, I believe. Oh, I also found a steel shovel in a car and it is, uh, definitely better than my yellow iron shovel. So we will be transitioning over to that. And now I do have the ability to make steel tools, but. I don't have um, enough parts, I think, to even make one yet, so. We need to, what do we need? Oh, and look at all that gasoline. These are all, these are like uh, 10,000 stacks, so very nice. All right, we're going to need the wheels. And we're going to need the steel. And we're going to need the duct tape. We have an engine in here. We're going to need the leather. And I want to take all the the radiators that we got from the cars and get those smelted down for brass and the iron, too. So that can go in there. Okay, I don't think we need anything else in here uh, for the bike or to take into the trader. Let's see. We don't need that either. We are going to need some more duct tape. But I made up a, a bunch of a glue before I, we started the episode here. So we only need one of those, too. So let's put that back as well. All right. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and head on in here. We'll go down to the camp bench first and get our, our glue. Yeah, we're hungry. But do we have another point, too? No, we don't. Okay, we're halfway to the next level. Most of that was from wrenching. Okay, so we have 59 glue there. Let's grab that. And we're going to need another 11 duct tape. Um, but I want some extra duct tape, too, because we need to make more repair kits. I mean, we can make all 59, but we should probably hang on to... Let's hang on to, like, 10 glue. So we'll make 49 duct tape. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and make the chassis. 
and then the handlebars. So we'll get that going in there. It'll take about four and a half minutes or so, and we're going to need to make room for two things. So I guess we'll take those back out for the moment. Let's buy this and eat it, because we need food. I mean, I've got good food back at the base. i got beef, uh, uh, meat stew? Yeah, meat stew and chili dogs. Just haven't gotten back over there yet. Okay, so let's get this and this going. And we'll smelt these other things later oh, and this iron too we got all that from car wrenching we'll scrap that can let's go ahead and sell thing is for sale uh, I checked his new stock too and he doesn't doesn't have anything that we need, so... Uh, oh, you know what? We can make fish tacos, too, so we need to start hanging on to salmon when we find it. So I was going to sell him this shovel, because we don't need it I now, do but we should probably customers. repair it first, so we can get maximum cash ola from it. Here we go, 264. We got the stoga in, too, so we're getting the 10% uh, better uh, bartering. Thank God you're done browsing. Next time I'll charge you for that. Okay, so we'll wait for uh, this to, to do its thing. We're gonna, we need to put some more wood. In fact, I need to go cut some more wood. I'm kind of low on wood, so you have to do that off camera too. And so now we're just waiting for the two motorcycle parts to finish. Is there any salmon in here? No, but there is a chili. Let's buy that. Um, we don't really need a, a yucca juice smoothie right now. Okay, so the chassis is done. And we'll just wait for the handlebars and then we will assemble the motorcycle itself. All right, the handlebars are done, and now let's do the whole thing. Look at that. Woot. All right, man. So we are uh, we're level 23, and it's day 19, so we have a motorcycle by that time, which isn't too bad. That's, a, that's probably a little bit sooner than I would normally have a motorcycle, but not, not significantly sooner. And uh, so, yeah, that's going to be good, because now we're going to be able to go faster and have more storage space. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little, little hoarse today for some reason. I don't know why I haven't been yelling at anybody. <laughs> All right, so we're going to wait for that. Uh, I went out and cut a little bit of wood, too, while I was waiting for the handlebars to finish. Uh, maybe I'll do that again. So, I'll meet you guys back at the base, and we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Got a bunch of inventory management I gotta do too. All right, guys, we finally have a Harley, a Harley hog. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? All right, we're going to we're gonna fill up the mini bike, so that way you know if we bite the dust at some point in the future, we can use this as a backup vehicle. And then we're gonna want to put um, let's put this stack of gasoline in here, and um. Most of the rest of this stuff we're going to just put, uh, take into the base. So, yeah, let me, um, let me run this in and then I'll come back out and grab the mini bike. Okay, we are sitting pretty. We're doing uh, really well here. I actually do need some lead, so I think I might, um, off, you know, after we're done with this episode, I might mine up some of this lead since it's right there. Might, might as well. Uh, so let's see, where are we at? I bought some chili. So we can make another chili dog. We're getting kind of low on cornbread. 
But we're in really good shape overall, though, uh, for food. That needs to be used for making more um, glue when the time comes. We're, we're down pretty good, so let's go ahead and, and throw back a meat stew. And that should recover a, a huge portion of our thing. We might need to do like a bacon and eggs or something, too, after that. This, yeah, that can stay there. All right, so I guess, what is the next thing we want to do now? That's what I need to decide. Got the motorcycle done. Uh, I do need to do some mining. I'd like to make, you know, I'd like to make some more gunpowder. And I need more lead. So there's those two things. I think we're in fairly decent shape on iron right now, because we have a lot of iron smelted into our forge. We'll put that in there. So yeah, we've got four chili dogs. We still have another meat stew to eat. And we can make the fish tacos. We just have to uh, start hanging on to the salmon when we find it. So yeah, we're in really good shape. Let's go ahead. Yeah, that didn't quite recover us. We need... Yeah, let's just eat this. We've got tons of it. Hanging on to some seeds here. This I've all fa I found all of these seeds in loot. So we got two aloes and some yucca. So both, both of the desert plants... And again, I, I, I looted that stuff from the, the snow biome. I did not loot those from the desert. Uh, just so you guys know. And um, yeah, man, I, I'm not sure what, what else we could do for the rest of this episode. We don't really have a ton of time left. And uh, the trader's going to close. I was thinking about making a shotgun. I can make a pump shotgun. The only problem is, is if I make it right now... Um, it's only going to be an orange one, but I mean, we we have all the materials to do it. Even an orange pump shotgun is probably going to be better, though, than a yellow double barrel. Um, we've got the duck bill. Yeah, what the hell? I mean, I've got lots of shotgun parts, so that that you know, we can still make an even better one later on. I've got uh, where are my shotgun parts? I've got twenty-four, and we only need seven. And I think the blue one requires a total of 15, so we still have enough to make a better shotgun later. So let's go ahead and do that. We need uh, 22 forge steel. And again, like I said, I've got stuff in the uh, in the forge right now to make you know more steel and iron as necessary. We need four duct tape, 30 polys, and four springs. And 30 polymers. Okay, let's go see if we can get this cranked out before he closes. We don't have a whole lot of time left. And then we'll have a pump shotgun, which will be nice to have. Because, <laughs> of course, we can fire off many, many shots rather than just two before we have to reload. Look at us in our bad Harley. That's right. I'm from Sturgis, South Dakota. <laughs> All right, let's see. We need to get to the workbench. Okay, so that's making up. Uh, we've got lots of paper. Uh, we got that from the bookstore. Which I guess we're doing fairly good, actually, on gunpowder. I mean, I still we're still going to need more than that in the long run, of course. But uh, we're not hurting for it either. Uh, so lead's really the main thing that we need. So I'm probably going to go ahead and just mine that lead pocket in our base. And maybe that'll open up, you know, some other ores for us too. It probably will. It usually does. Iron, if nothing else. We could also make an orange crossbow if we wanted to. Just to, you know, get a little bit better crossbow than what we're using. I'm not using the crossbow a whole lot, but we're still... We're still going to keep it because it's, you know, it's good for silent shots. Probably don't need to keep carrying a lane clean block because we've we're, we've pretty much graduated from having to perch up on a block now. I, I mean, if something rushes us and we can't kill it, we just hop on the motorcycle and take off. So um, I'm probably not going to carry that any longer. Torches, that's the other thing. I don't know that I need to keep carrying torches because I just haven't really had to use them. Um in a while now and so that would free up two more slots for us as well 
This has uh, three more minutes. All right, guys. Well, I think what I'm going to do is... Boy, is that going to be done in time before he kicks me out of here? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, the game time ticks a little bit slower than real time does. So... But he kicks, he, he kicks you out at 2150. Boy, that's going to be really close. I'll tell you what, I'm, we'll just, we'll just get that tomorrow. I re, it's, it's going to be so close that it's probably not worth the blood, sweat, and tears worrying about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine overnight. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mine overnight and then um we have a treasure map to do which we could do uh stefan's treasure map that's about 4.6 kilometers it's kind of a long ways away where in the hell is that i think that's way up here oh yeah that's a long ways away okay um at some point we're gonna start thinking about moving you know moving over here um but yeah, what I'm going to do is mine up some lead. I'm sorry if, if I'm uh, I'm a little scatterbrained. I'm just a little scatterbrained. <laughs> oh, I know what I was going to say. We could start doing tier twos. Um, so that's probably what we'll do in the next episode is we'll take um, and start doing our first uh, tier two quest. No, I don't know. That shotgun might be done. <laughs> Let's... Uh... Let's just run back in here, and we'll wait till we'll wait till twenty. No, actually, I'm sorry. He kicks us out at twenty one fifty, so we'll wait till twenty one forty five, and we'll see. We'll see if it's done here. It's going to be close. It's going to be really close. Now you know what? I changed my mind. We're, this this will be done before he closes. We we, sh we should be done. Yeah, we will. Okay. Because <clears throat> I was basing that earlier off of twenty one thirty, but then it just occurred to me. I, th I think he gives the warning at twenty one thirty. You know, Trader Joel's is is about ready to close, kind of thing, and then at twenty one fifty, that's when they actually boot you out. But this will be done. Okay, cool. So that's going to give us a pump shotgun. Let's um take the duck bill off of here. And you know what we could do with this? We could actually sell it. Um, let's repair it first. Oh, I'm going to make some repair kits, too. Let's go sell that to him, and then when we come back, the pump should be ready to go. Just out of curiosity, though, Quickly. this does 17 damage per pellet, uh, per pellet um, but 954 rounds per minute. Really? How is that possible? That doesn't seem right. All right, let's sell him that. We'll make a 378 so coin on it. That's all you're gonna buy. I'll let you show yourself out. There she is. Oh shit, that scared me. Okay, let's get out of here because I don't want to get teleported out on the other side of the building away from our motorcycle. That would kind of suck. Yeehaw! Oh, I love the motorcycle. More storage space and faster. In fact, it's the fa fastest vehicle in the game, with maybe the exception of the gyrocopter. I'm not sure which one's faster. Uh, definitely the, the fastest uh, land vehicle, anyway. All right, so uh, let's just leave that there for now. We'll go in here. I'm not, I'm not worried about blocking that. I mean, if a zombie actually came in here, we'd just blow his brains out. And I already got chased by... A wandering horde earlier right before I started the camera so I know another one of those isn't coming anytime soon all right let's look at this so this does 14 damage per pellet the other one did 17 so of course you know that's to be expected though it did it did a little more but uh you know look at uh, how much faster it is though so we can go a lot faster with this so that makes up for it. plus um plus we have eight in the magazine okay cool oh that's right I can make the tube extender mod Ooh, what do we need for that forgot about that ah oh, shit we gotta we gotta do it in the freaking uh, workbench though so then we're not making that tonight <laughs> i mean i could i you know what i can make a workbench maybe we should just make our own the thing is is we're not staying here we're gonna move to the central city so i mean i didn't want to set a bunch of shit up in the meantime but we can always pick it up you know with the land claim block 
So I guess there's no reason not to. Let's yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, sorry about that. Um, what are we doing? We are making a workbench. So what do we need? Iron, mechanical, wrench, hammer, wood. Iron. Ooh, is that enough iron? It isn't. Gosh, dang it. We're five short. What the hell, man? <laughs> okay, we're not making a workbench tonight. Jeez Louise. Okay. Well, excuse me. We'll make the tube thing madoodle tomorrow. I think... Um, we only have one mod slot in this, though. But I think the tube extender is worth more than having the duckbill mod, though I do like, definitely do like the duckbill. It really uh, makes my potato aim look not so bad, you know what I mean? But nice. Okay, now we have eight shots on this sucker instead of just the two before we have three loads. So that's going to be a huge improvement. And then later on, you know, we'll, we'll throw some more points into shotgun... Uh, into boomstick and then we'll make a better one later on but for now this is good or we might find one too so all right guys well i think that's about it for this episode like i said i'm going to i'm going to mine some lead tonight so i'm going to mine all of this stuff it's going to kind of screw up our base but that's okay like i said we're not going to stay here for uh for much longer anyway so i don't really care to be honest with you um and uh in the next episode we'll start our tier two quests and then kind of go from there all right Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.